what's going on y'all it's your boy roll the queen hope you guys are doing well hope you guys are doing good now i apologize this is going to be a little bit of a weird video normally i'd start off with some words then you go into the intro a call of action and i'd finally get to the topic but i'm pretty tired and i just want to get this video up so we are nearing a year with tom taylor on nightwing and because i've covered the rick grayson stuff in its entirety i figured i let you guys know how i feel about this run so far L let me start off by giving homie some praise tom taylor has done the job of putting nightwing back on the map the book is selling better than it has been in a very long time i'm talking second printings third printings that's great because this is one of my favorite characters, I love the fact that he's prospering right now in terms of sales. That's great, and I wish that for everybody who has a favorite character. The art is immaculate. Bruno Redondo is working his ass off. And honestly, I can say this is this is artistic porn. It's great. It's a joy to look at. And I understand the praise that it gets from that aspect. The things that Taylor has introduced in this run, there's potential there for all of it to accumulate and he could give us an amazing run at the end of it all. Nightwing being a philanthropist, giving his money back to the people of Bloodhaven is a little bit on the nose. Does it sound like a topic we've heard on Twitter? Regurgitated a lot of times, sure. But again, is there potential for Taylor to do something great with that? Something monumental? Yes. All right, now that we got the praise out the way, let's get to what my beef is with this run so far. Taylor has not progressed anything that he's introduced. The book has been wrapped up in crossover after crossover. I do believe it's gonna be wrapped up in yet another crossover. So first it was Fear State. Now it's this son of Kal-El. Wally West is gonna be in the book for two issues. It's not gonna tie into the Flash, but based on the solicits of those two issues, doesn't it look like we're gonna be progressing anything that he's introduced. And I have my suspicions that this book is gonna be crossing over into Dark Crisis because Dark Crisis is gonna be focused on the legacy characters and Nightwing is a legacy character. And again, these crossovers do help boost sales. So why not? Why, why not? At, the, at this point, it, it's such a trend in this run. Why not continue to chase the bag? We're in deep trouble with this run if this is the trajectory it's going to go at. Now, I'm going to get into a lot of trouble for this, but the Rick Grayson arc, even though people hated it, and I don't blame people for hating it, there was actually something going for it. The writers that were involved in that arc, they tried their best to push it towards something. I still picked it up because even though it sucked to see my boy like that, I at least knew month after month there was something, there was a goal at the end of it all. And again, we, we did get that with Dick getting his memories back. And that's what helped it feel so sweet when it happened because again, everyone was putting in their weight to push towards that. This run has been a whole lot of nothing. Great concepts introduced, but nothing progressing after that. I see this book get a lot of praise. And, and rightfully so, especially in the beginning. But it seems like right now, it's the art that's carrying the book and not the story. And I understand why the art would do that. You, you can take apart panels from this Nightwing run and they do great on social media. They're very quippy. You can turn them into memes. They're very cute. The stand accounts love them and even regular regular folk love them. It, it works. Like I said, that's the genius of Bruno Redondo and probably the genius of Tom Taylor too. It's great. It gets a lot of people talking, but how long can that sustain a run for? How long until people are tired of this wrapped up in another crossover and not progressing anything that you introduced? Awesome things on top of that. That's what I'm turning into this. That's why I read this book. I want to see what Dick can do with his money. I want to see him and Heartless go out. I want to see how Blockbuster ties into things. I want to see what's going to be happening with his brand new sister. I want to see the growth between him and Barbara. There's so much there and Tom Taylor is not doing a goddamn thing. So I'm worried about this book. I'm worried about this book and I feel like people are starting to catch on to what this Nightwing run really is, which is a whole lot of nothing. 
I don't know, maybe I could be wrong and all of this is part of Taylor's master plan. But if I'm judging based off the past couple months, fucking the last year, nah, bro. This run is in trouble. And honestly, Taylor does not need any more heat on him. People are already on his neck for the Son of Kylo shit. And Nightwing fans have been through enough with the Rick Grayson stuff. So I can easily see a scenario where they too will be catching on to what's happening and then they harp on him online. Nah, bro. I, I don't wish that on him. So Taylor has a lot of work to do to convince me and the other people will start to catch on that the book is in good hands. But let me know down below in the comments. Am I tripping? Am I wilding? Or do you guys see what's happening too? And do you want to see the book progress? Which is fair. Alright, y'all be easy. Much love, much peace. Don't forget to hit that subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like. We're very close to hitting 400 subs, y'all. Peace.